I'm going to show you the very basics of photo editing, so you can start your very own creation. To get you started, I'm going to talk you through some of the basic terms of photo editing, such as color, brightness, saturations, and so on. Many people today use their phone for taking photos rather than carrying around a camera, since most phones today have a pretty good camera that you can use. There are plenty of options of free apps that you can download for photo editing. Some of them you might need to upgrade after a while, depending on how you use them. I'm going to show you one of the apps that I use frequently. To start, you need to pick one of the photos from your phone that you really like. So I chose this photo to edit. I'm going to start with picking one of the filters that comes with the app. So here is a selection of filters that you can choose from. I decided to go for this one, since I think that one brings out the color of the sunrise. So next I'm going to change the exposure and contrast. To change the exposure in this app, I click on exposure. By increasing the number on the scale, it will make the photo brighter. If I go the other way and decrease the number, it will make it darker. For this photo, I'm choosing to go a bit darker. Now I'm going to change the contrast. The numbers on the scale works the same way as for exposure. By changing the contrast, you make the color pop. It also makes the photo sharper and adds more details. So in this app, there are lots of different options on how you can edit your photo. So if you swipe this bar, different options will show. You might not end up using all of them, but it's good to know how they work. If you take in a scenic photo, you might want to straighten the horizon. You can do that by using this function. So I just showed you how to do the basic edits on an app in your phone. But all of these editing tools are available in most devices today. So what does the future for photo editing look like? It's very much a world of endless possibilities. You probably noticed, but the way we present our lives with photos today, it's way different compared to how it used to be. Today, instead of just taking photos of special occasions like weddings and birthdays, we also tend to share our daily moments. So just like Google search can finish off your sentences, there are photographing apps that will give you suggestions on how to edit your photos. So whether the purpose is to make a photo book, a presentation, or just post your photos on social media, there's endless of opportunities of what you can do. Don't be afraid of trying it out. <laughs>